Okay, so this is just a bit of a, um, maybe a little bit more in depth than a 101 explainer of uh, wet tax in zero and DIA. Um, there'll be a little bit that we'll talk about in relation to tax rules and chart of accounts that's fairly standard between zero and DIA. Uh, if you haven't already, there's a couple of useful videos on our um, playlists in relation to this. So, a couple of things first of all, just for kind of background. So. Uh, we've got this uh, waypoint add-on connector zero file connected to our demo dia file. Um, that is what gives the dia file the chart of accounts and the tax rules. So in uh, settings and then reference books, um, we've got the chart of accounts, and this comes through from zero. So we have an option to load from zero. We don't have any option to import or add accounts or similar. Um, everything has to be done on the zero side of things. Uh, what I've also done here, so uh, zero standard tax account is uh, 820. You can change that, but that's the default. Uh, I've created a second account here, 821 called wet. Uh, something to note, zero doesn't have any native handling of wet or wine equalization tax. Um, therefore, what we're going to do here is essentially use DIA's reporting to be able to tell us uh, this amount is GST, this amount is wet, and then at the end of the period, be it month or quarter, uh, to be able to journal that out and also be able to report that to the ATO. So zero will do ATO submission, uh, and it will fill in things like W1 and W2 and similar in your BAS report. Uh, it will not automatically fill out wet. What it will give you is, let's just choose at random here, a $50,000 liability, um, and it's up to the reporting to know 15,000 of that is GST, 35,000 is wet, um, and to put those two amounts in. So, um, within uh, DIA just here, now a couple of things to note here, um, we can do all of this setup for these tax rules. I'm not going to get into all the detail of exactly how these are all set up, but I'll give as much information as possible. Um, so in the tax rules here, there are some standard tax rules that primarily come through from uh, zero for things like GST on income um, and GST free income and similar. Uh, we've got also a GST and wet component. 10% um, GST, 29% wet. It's not 39% because it compounds. Um, it's 41.9%. Um, so 29% wet first of all. 29% uh, wet and 10% GST. And you'll notice these are going to two different liability accounts. Um, so the GST to GST, the wet to wet, for example. Um, something else to note is if I go into the reports, um, so DIA has a full accounting ledger kind of built within it. It gets the um, chart of accounts from zero. But if we go into trial balance, we can run a full trial balance here in uh, DIA. Um, you'll see if we're looking at the uh, month to date so far, uh, there's nothing in wet, there's no 821, um, there's a tiny bit of GST, um, $7 one side of the ledger, $18.50 the other side of the ledger for purchases and sales respectively. Um, if we run it for today, just to give an example, um, and just to show here, there's nothing moving uh, currently today. So all of that said, a um, couple of other things to note. Uh, we can default either customers or products to set tax rules. You won't always want to do this because um, it could be that some customers get wet and some do not, depending if they're wholesale or retail or similar. Uh, but just note that it is possible to uh, go into a product and set, oh, forgive me, um, and set a uh, sale tax rule here if you wish. So um, I am just going to very quickly uh, just go and put some wine into stock here just to use uh, an example. Oh no, I have some here. Okay, perfect. I've got some in stock already. Okay, the cost of $4.69. Just remember that for the moment. Um, okay. So let's just go and run a sale, and I'm going to do a few examples here, um, getting more, more and more complex as we go along. Uh, let's just choose an appropriate one here. Okay, 
So I'm going to do this sale of uh, a product, just a, a fairly standard product without wet. Um, I'll just find something that we've got in stock. So, um, so five beer glasses, eleven dollars each. Uh, GST on income. Just noting up here, tax inclusive is unchecked. So fifty-five total. Then running down, which is fifty-five plus five dollars fifty GST, ten percent GST. Um, Sixty dollars fifty total. Um, if we go to the invoice. Uh, we can then copy the information from the authorized sales order onto the tax invoice. Just choose today's date and authorize. Um, and we'll see here, there's a few different invoice examples here, but we'll just do the tax invoice for the moment. Just to give you a bit of an idea there. So this is just a simple tax invoice $55 X, $5.50 tax, and so on. So uh, what we'll do now is jump back and do another sale here with wet and GST. Uh, we'll choose the same customer here just to keep things simple. Um, and here, We'll take the wine product, and I'm going to keep this really simple uh, just to aid the maths. So 10 units of wine at $10 for a total of 100. Uh, noting the margin is 53%, which works backwards because the cost was $4.69, I think. $4.70 something, 60 something. Yeah, $4.69. Um, and here, or oh, just before I do make this change, just note here uh, the total. And then here, if I swap this over to wet plus GST, and this is why I kept it at $100 exactly. So our total tax becomes 41.90. So we'll authorize this. Okay, so if we now go and just drop a due date on this uh, invoice, I'll just take the discount back off of there. There's an automatic discount on this customer. Um, then we'll see Authorize that invoice. So just a reminder, $100 X tax, $41.90 combined GST and wet. Um, if we then have a look just quickly here, and I have a specific invoice for splitting out the wet here um, because of the double tax rule. Um, this can be amended with Word documents and similar, but it will give you just an impression of um, what this looks like. So here we've got some things like um, the uh, LUC and similar for products. So we've got uh, 10 of them at $100, um, $100 total. Then we've got wet, we've got GST, um, we've got amounts here as well. Um, we've got total, total taxes, wet split, GST split. Um, if we go and look here, just into the logs and attributes, which is more of an audit trail area, uh, but I'll just show we've then got the split here of what's going to sales, going to GST and going to wet. Now I'll do a zero sync just to show what happens here, uh, because these are the couple of little things to be aware of um, just in relation to how zero handles it, because as I mentioned before, zero can't have multiple taxes as in it just it just accrues GST um, so I'll do a zero sync just here and at the same time I'll just go and run a report just to show you um, obviously I've only done one transaction here um, but imagine this over a, a, a week a month a quarter or similar um, if we go to the trial balance um, then we've got uh, let's just look at today um, because we had no figures in there previously. I'll just show now we've got $15.50 and 39, 31.90, sorry, wet. So $15.50 is $5.50 on the first sale of $55 and $10 on the $100 sale, the second one I put through. And if we click into that, you'll see, if you ever want to break down this information, you'll see the two invoices and the two amounts um, and then the wet is on the second sale um, 
$31.90 there. Now, um, with the zero sync, let's just see. Yep, that's gone through. Um, so if we look at the invoice in zero, I'll just show you this does show a total GST amount here. Um, so the part you'll need to do at the end of month or quarter or similar uh, will be a journal from GST to WET uh, because zero simply can't handle multiple tax rules um, natively. So it will be a case of running this report. Uh, so I'll just show you actually, I'll show you this um, briefly, although it's only reporting for a day, it will give you a good impression of what needs to be done. Um, so actually let's go to trial balance rather than balance sheet. So I should be able to run it on a little bit tighter date range. Yeah, damn. Uh, let's do, 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 do. Okay, let's go back to balance sheet. Sorry to be a pain. Um, so if we go as that today, to show you in GST here. Um, and you'll see this full amount comes through into GST 4190. Uh, the split is in uh, DIA. So what you would do in this case is journal $31.90 from GST to WET just before you do the report. Um, and then when you run um, activity statement report, um, you would amend that. I don't think I've got this demo connected. Um, let me see if I'll go through. Yeah, so in effect, you would adjust 1A down by $31.90 in this case. And in 1E collaboration tax, you would put the $31.90 or 32 for the rounding. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I think that's everything demonstrated. So just as a summary of everything we've gone through there, um, we have a uh, chart of accounts that come in from zero. We normally have a GST and a WET account. Uh, we have tax rules set up so we can have GST, GST and WET, just WET um, or just GST. Uh, we set those uh, line by line on invoices as you wish and they can be defaulted um, if a set customer always gets a certain rule. Uh, and there's different invoice templates if you want to show breakdown of GST, WET, and so on as a total of the invoice. Um, that records in the reporting in DIA, everything posts into one account in zero, and then end of period, um, you simply run the report in DIA, move the amount across, and then report it in the usual fashion through your activity statement. Hopefully that will make sense. Um, questions are obviously always welcome, but hopefully that's a good guide for GST and wet uh, within zero and dear.